Hello. Welcome to the broadcast, Daily Dose of God's Word. Here we are Thursday, the 23rd of January. Hmm. Fantastic. We're talking around the topic of prayer and fasting, and why don't I just get straight into it? I don't know how long we'll be, really, but well, many times I think, oh, I don't really uh, have a lot to, to add, and then it just keeps going, so we'll see. Um, Matthew 6, verse 16 and you'll think that I could be rebuking myself here, but moreover, when you fast, do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance. Amen. For they disfigure their faces that they may appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. But when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face... Hello, Di Willardson. So that you do not appear to men to be fasting, but to your Father who is in the secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. You know, some people kind of think that, oh, well, really fasting and prayer should all be done privately and people shouldn't do, know that other people are fasting. And um, yes... Yes, if you want to go about it that way, then that's not that's not the worst thing in the world. And there even could be a fair amount of wisdom regarding going about it that way. Uh, however, you know, well, what about you guys? You guys, you know, you put it all over the internet that you guys <laughs> were, were praying and fasting. And hello, Julie, Ivan and Julie, hello. Um... So, what's the deal there? Well, the deal is, first of all, I like that it's when you fast, that Jesus is saying, when you fast. Not if you fast, but when. And fasting in the life of the believer should be not if, but when. And do not be like the hypocrites with a sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces so that they appear to men to be fasting. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. So the hypocrites, the hypocritical way of fasting is that you fast to appear to men that you're fasting. And so, wow, look how good I am. I'm fasting. Isn't that awesome? Which is clearly what I'm doing here. Um, <laughs> it's not really. I'm just I'm, uh, um, trolling myself. On social media um, but that's that's the hypocritical way they have received their reward in full so they am I on I'm on breakthrough center right now aren't I I believe I am I'm pretty sure yeah yeah I am okay excellent let me just do this fantastic so the hypocritical way is that your your appeal to fasting is to not try to get a breakthrough from your heavenly father but to appear to men like you're fasting what kind of a crazy world would that be but you know it happens it says that i say to you they have they have their reward and what does finistake put in the comments um 16 verse 16 Praise of men is their full reward. Praise of men is their full reward. You know, when you don't go after the praises of men, but you go after the praises of God, it's a world of difference. When you don't go after men's approval, but you go after God's approval, it changes everything. When you don't go, when you're not trying to please people, but you're trying to, but you do want to please God, that is a world of difference and it will make you it will cause you to not lose yourself in political correctness you know have you ever wondered how 
you know, what some people really think because they just give you an answer that is the politically correct answer. You, you sometimes wonder, well, I actually asked you because I'm interested in, in how you really feel and think about this. We should not be that way. We should not be that way. We should be honest and appealing to our Heavenly Father through prayer and fasting. It's, we got to be fasting because we're interested, more interested in what God thinks than what people think. And so we wash our face, we anoint our face, we put on makeup or whatever people do. I don't know. Do, I don't anoint my face to appear like I'm not fasting now in 2024, but I guess our appeal to men, we're not appealing to men because when you appeal to men, you might have some measure of success. And that's actually true. When people see that you're doing certain things, they will give you a measure of success. But the Bible says that if you go on about it that way, then you will have received your reward in full. But when you appeal to God, he opens doors no man can shut and shuts doors no man can open. Those are the kinds of doors that I'm interested in, is the ones that the Lord opens. And he's got the keys to be able to open the right doors for us. And one way to enter into a, a, a time where, enter into seeing those doors open, doing what's necessary to see those doors open and see those doors close, is prayer and fasting. I believe that. Your heavenly Father who sees in secret, will reward you openly. Heaven's reward. That's what we're looking for. Heaven's reward is eternal. Heaven's reward is not just in this life. Heaven's reward is far, far greater than man's reward. So, don't fast just to appear good. Fast to go after heaven's reward. Heaven's reward doesn't rust it doesn't decay it doesn't get old heaven's reward sounds like well done good and faithful servant enter into the joy of the lord that's what heaven's reward sounds like and i'm, I'm going to go after that i encourage everyone watching and listening to go after heaven's reward as you pray and fast don't don't be concerned with men's opinions all the time we got to check ourselves that we're not too concerned with people's opinions but way more concerned with what does the Lord think about this? What does he think about this? And live according to that. Thank you for the angry face. Appreciate the interactions. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't sure who put that up, but I enjoyed it. Awesome. Well, fantastic. If you, um, we had the launch of Breakthrough Bible Institute today. Wasn't that awesome? That was so good. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed today. It was so great to really have a situation where it's the fulfillment of a dream. Molly hit, <laughs> Molly hit the angry face. Ah, oh, I'm kind of disappointed. I thought I was coming against some opposition. I was encouraged. Um, you know, because really, if you don't run into problems every now and again, you might think, you know, you'd be heading in the same direction as the enemy. So even angry faces encourage me, friends. Some say bad love's better than no love. I don't know, but <laughs> no, I, I, I'm mucking around. But boy, today was a great day having the launch of Breakthrough Bible Institute in Toowoomba there, a Bible college. <laughs> Thank you, Nate. <laughs> the angry faces for me. That was phenomenal day to be able to you know have a bible college in Toowoomba that it's about knowing God uh, is is an amazing thing and be able to spend a year with some great quality people delve into God's word so that we would know him more and come to know who we are in Christ we're going to have the best 2024 that we've ever had <laughs> by default <laughs> Because it's the only 2024 we've ever had. So it will be the best. And it will be great. Fantastic. 
Awesome. Hallelujah. All right. Well, we're certainly, we also, Play Cafe will be ready tomorrow. We're going for, uh, what, 10 a.m.? 10 a.m. till midday. Breakthrough Play is open, ideal for toddlers, children not at school, uh, not yet at school. Um, come and bring your little ones, have some coffee, cake, this kind of thing. And then we've got a fully revamped playground now for the toddlers. And we're going to make full use of it to, for toddler church as well. Only just got that play area finished today. And oh my goodness, it was a, it was a push. And boy, a lot of physical work, which is partly why I'm like, okay, so I'm, I'm, not going to do the second week like I did the first week. The first week of fasting was a full, full fast, no food, seven days. Second week, we are eating some, but still not full diet. So, and to be honest with you, I got, at times I felt more hungry during the second week than the first. So in some ways, full fast is easier, but if you're doing physical labor, then you need to um, you need to be mindful of how much you weigh and your calories and this kind of thing, so that you don't drop a heavy thing of steel on someone as you operate the cram. Fantastic! All right, well, love you all. Thanks for watching. If you don't know Jesus Christ, make sure you know him before it's eternally too late. The, your decision on what you do with Jesus has eternal consequences. It'll have consequences in this life, but also in the one to come. So if you're not sure whether you know where you're going to spend eternity, why don't you just say this out loud? I'll lead you in a, a short prayer and God will begin to make himself real to you so that it becomes a, a reality, a real relationship for you. Say, dear God, I've heard about you. And although I don't totally understand, if you really died on the cross for me, I want to say thank you and receive you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Do that. Let us know. See you later, Molly. Luke, Di, Julie, and Ivan. Anyone else watching? Love you all. Hey, Anna. Truck should be on the way down there. Don't know if I should have said that. Anyway. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. See you all.